What are these? 12 gauge. Random? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Can I shoot them? Yeah. What are they? It's random buckshot loads. Heavy? No. We'll just do it that way. Ooh, that was fun. My turn. <laughs> Beautiful. One, two, three, and four. I forgot you didn't have earplugs in, sir. I was back far enough it wasn't that loud. He's going to win. He's usually a lot better at these than me. I don't know. See if any of these even come close to hitting the plate. <laughs> nah. I uh, think you won. Buckshot at 100 yard, 110 yards is uh, not really feasible, guys. So you can get two off the fastest now. Okay. Go for it. Those two would definitely go off. It's still reloading. It's oh, still okay. running, I mean. So. He's going to see. We're going to see fire two the fastest. All right. Ready? Ready? Yep. I don't know. That was pretty fast. I think you got me beat, friend. I know one thing. This thing is heating up. We do this quite often. Yeah. <laughs> off camera, though. Ready? Yeah. Oh, you beat me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you always got to double tap them, friend. And the trick is, ride the freaking trigger. Don't pull it off and come back. Ride the trigger. Right. And no, for the people at YouTube watching, that was not full auto. That was semi-automatic fire. It sure was. There wasn't even a bump fire. Nope. No simulated full auto, no nothing. That was just straight up cycling the action. Yep. Thanks for watching, guys. The M4 is freaking awesome. So, what you just saw was the end of a range day. We had some spare shells left in the box, and we decided to see who could fire them fastest. Some of you guys have been asking for an update on the Panzer, how it's doing and stuff. Well, it's been about six months since I've got it, and... The God's honest truth is this gun has given us absolutely no trouble. The only thing it won't cycle are very light loads, like one ounce or seven eighth ounce down around 1100, 1145. Yeah, those cannot cycle this action, but anything else can. I got this gun February 24th of 2024, which was my 29th birthday. Today is August 13th, 2024, so almost six months of owning this thing and like i said it's pretty much given us no trouble i bought it and then took it out to josh's to the range right out of the box and it was cycling target loads like low brass federal things like that although brass height doesn't matter anyway the only thing i have done to this gun to upgrade it is i stuck a really cheap red dot on it and by really cheap it was 25 bucks it is a CV Life. I'm not sure of the model. It doesn't say anywhere, and I no longer have the box. But anyway, it has a five position reticle, so that's pretty nice to have. Anyway, we have a red or a green dot on it, and each dot has nine different brightness levels. And to change the brightness, all you do is repeatedly click the dot, the button for the dot, R for red, G for green, obviously. And it raises the brightness once you get to the highest brightness level. You click it again and it goes back down to the lowest level. But anyway, this red dot is holding up just fine. I will admit that thing is a little bit ugly. It's kind of big and bulky. It looks a little weird on the gun, but it is serving very, very well for us. I bought this, I believe, one week after I bought the gun. And guys, we have nearly a thousand rounds through this thing and I can't recall ever having a legitimate malfunction other than with very, very light loads. And to prove that, here is the box. 95% of these are shells that we have run through the Panzer. And the box is pretty big. The only things I've had to do maintenance-wise to this gun, other than, you know, cleaning it, 
is tighten up the screws for the pick rail whenever they came loose about i don't know a month after owning it i noticed the screws were loose so pulled the red dot off tightened all the screws with loctite to the proper torque and then put my red dot back on and it's it's held up ever since so here is the trigger group and yeah it's a little dirty i haven't cleaned the gun in about i don't know a month and a half but that's not horrible i've seen a lot worse and a lot faster time in a lot faster time but yeah that's not bad at all i'll clean it while i have it disassembled here but anyway if we pull the bolt back it won't lock back because the guts are out of the gun but anyway having a look in here as you can see it's really not all that bad for a month and a half of us shooting it nearly well actually every single weekend lately but yeah looks pretty good to me got it pretty much fully field stripped here looking at these you can see they are not really all that dirty for heavy usage try to get you a view down the barrel yeah yeah not horrible focus come on camera you can do it i don't know if it's going to do it guys but i think you caught a glimpse of it for a split second there the inside of the barrel really isn't all that dirty the chamber area there's no rust in it none of that it is still looking great and the barrel extension well it's a little dirty but otherwise the whole thing just looks great yeah i'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary surprisingly the bolt face is looking really nice it's almost clean as a whistle around it is obviously a little bit dirty and yes once again i will clean this but screw looks just fine I believe that's actually the cam pin. Function seems normal. Getting my hand all black. I'm not seeing any abnormal wear. And once again, this does have around a thousand shells, if not slightly more. We lost count around 800. Anyway, yeah, it all is looking great to me. The wear to the mag tube looks to be about non-existent aside from the spot right there center screen it's a little bit worn there and we do have a line on this side but other than that i mean it does look pretty good there's also a ring right there i didn't see before but other than that looking good nothing weird at all to see inside the receiver it all looks totally normal Looks just like our other guns. Oops, sorry guys. That was probably a bit disorienting. I'm trying to get you a better view down the inside of the receiver. And it's a little dirty, but other than that, once again, nothing at all out of the ordinary. Anyway guys, there's an update for the Panzer. I know some of you were asking about it. And, well, it's holding up great for us. We probably could not have gotten a better example if it was given to us. Once again, this thing has around a 1,000 rounds through it, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. But anyway, it's holding up perfect. It's eaten pretty much anything we've given it, again, aside from very light loads, like basically the equivalent of 20-gauge loads in a 12-gauge, that kind of light. But, yeah. Again, no complaints. I love this thing. I guess thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.